Welcome in, Miss Rachel's friends. I have my darling daughter, Lily, here, and we are going to talk about making a stress ball. Now, the whole idea between, behind all these activities Miss Rachel's doing is to use materials that you have inside your house. Now, the directions that I put out call for using a balloon, a funnel, and flour. So I have a funnel that starts with F, and I have flour that also starts with F. I do not have a balloon. I do have a plastic bag, and I have a latex glove. So Lily, which one do you think we should try today? Glove. The glove? Now, when we make this stress ball, what is something that we can do with it? Squish. Yes, we can squish it. If we're having big emotions, we can squish the stress ball. If we're feeling really angry or excited, or maybe, maybe we're a little bit nervous. Or we could be excited. Maybe our cousin is coming over and we can play with the stress ball so we can calm our bodies and be ready for that special time. So I am, oh, Lily, we forgot a tool. Do you, I'm gonna have the glove here. I'm gonna put the funnel in. How are we gonna get the flour into the funnel? What could we use? A spoon. A spoon. I'm gonna pause the video real quick while we get a spoon. All right, Lily went and got a spoon. That's the tool that she wants to use. So maybe use a big spoon, maybe use a little spoon. I'm actually going to hold this over a dish, just in case, because I don't want any of that flour just to fly everywhere. And I'm going to put my glove around this funnel here. There's some fingers on here. Whoop. And Lily rolled down the edges, and now she is going to start putting scoops of flour into here. Let's count how many scoops she puts in. One. I'll give a little shake so it goes down into the funnel there. I have to stand up here for this. Mmm. Flour is pretty thick. Do you know, I have an idea. Since if you had a balloon, you would want to use a funnel so you could put the tip of the balloon on here. But we have a big glove. So I think Miss Rachel is just going to hold it open, and Lily can scoop into there. So that's two scoops. Ooh, I'm, I'm doing overflowing scoops. Oh, yes, those are overflowing. Three. Four. Five. Oh, it's getting heavier. Six. Ooh, we can got I do two up. more? I think you can fit two more in there. What do you think, friends? You see there's a little line there? So that's one more. How many scoops is that total? Eight? No, seven. Seven. And one more will make it? Eight. Eight. Ooh, I'm gonna squish that flour down. Are you gonna help squish? It's kind of like milking a cow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, do you think that is full enough, Lily? Yes. All right. So Miss Rachel is gonna tie the top here so the flour doesn't come out. And now, Lily, you have your very own squish ball. Or a squish hand. How cool is that? How does it feel? Oh, no, <laughs> we don't want to hit your beautiful face. How does your squish hand feel? <laughs> oh, I see her face has a smile. That tells me that she is happy with this. Satisfying. Oh, it is very satisfying. Uh, something else that Miss Rachel realized is you can also use this for counting. 
So you can have your hand down here and say, can you flip up two fingers? Yep, one, two. Pretty neat. All right, friends, I wonder what you are gonna use to make your squishy stress balls. Maybe you have a glove, maybe you have a bag, maybe you actually do have a balloon. I am curious, let's see if you can send Ms. Rachel a picture. I would love to see how creative and smart you are. Bye.